hey guys today we learn joomla basic setting from global configuration first of all we have to log in joomla backend from system click over global configuration site tab site name please put here your site name site offline means if you want to keep site offline then you have to put you have to keep yes offline message type your offline message here offline image you can select image for offline image mouse over edit icons modules you can none modules modules are menus in home page let's see what happened none let's see modules you can edit modules only edit modules modules and menus and see edit menus default editor default editor by default it was tnms editor if you need extended editor you have to enable from plugin manager default capture you have to for, uh, enable from plugin manager for default access level public default list limit 100 maximum to be was 20 let's see what happened article after change it will be it will be 50 default feed, li feed limit select number of content items show in in the feeds feed email address side email no email feed email address means rss email address subscri subscriber email address site metadata description you can write here 20 words about your site meta description Side meta keywords, enter the keywords and phrases there that best describe your website. Separate keywords and phrases with the with a comma. Proverbs it is for index search engine content rights. Describe what rights other have to use this content. Show author meta tag. Show Joomla version by default it it was no SEO setting search engine friendly yes you will URL rewriting if you want to rewrite your your URL such as object not found because not url rewrite add suffix url the system will add a suffix the url based on the document type unicode alias choose between trans translation 
and unique alias transliteration is default include the site name and paste let's see what happened please check title before after no domain to use when settings session cookies we set domain with dot if cookie should be valid for all subdomains basically it use for subdomains if you subdomains uses for cookies cookie path that's it today thanks for watching this video please subscribe this and like and share